Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Asus A516J laptop and today we're gonna enable the USB boot, get into BIOS, change a couple of settings, especially the secure boot option enable and then boot priority option and then it should be fine. So first of all, you should create one which should be bootable and UEFI environment. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. The video link would be in the description. So first, press down the power button if this is switched on and hold to switch it off completely and then keep pressing F2 while it's turning on. Then it would take you directly to the BIOS page. As you can see, there are many options in the BIOS page, including main, advanced, boot, security, save and exit. By the way, we don't need to go through all of them. We just need to find secure boot option in the security section. Okay. So first of all, instead of going in here, we're going to press the right key. I mean, right arrow to get into security. And then from there, we're going to check if the secure boot option is enabled or not. If that is disabled, we're going to make it enable. And if that is enabled, we're going to leave it as it is. So I can see the security section, the bottom one called secure boot, hit enter. And now it shows this is enable, hit enter again, just to double check. And I can see this is highlighted enable. And now we're gonna press ESC button once, and then we're gonna go back to boot option. From there, as you can see, it says boot priority option one to three. So I'm gonna select number three, which is my USB. And then I'm going to press the plus button to put it up. So it's going to be like this once, twice. And now you can see it's on the top of the list. That's mean now the boot has uh, prioritized from the USB section. So save the changes by hitting enter. And now when it restart, the system would recognize the USB, which is bootable and is going to start up from there instead of the existing windows you know so in that point it might take a couple of minutes so don't be surprised sometimes it seems like everything is frozen but in the background something is happening if you do have any usb flashlight into your usb then you can see the flashlight would be active and it's going to blinking that means something is happening in the background so if nothing does happen within a couple of minutes or even shorter or longer then you can try the same process again now it's pretty simple we can see the windows setup page by the way in that point might be your trackpad would be disabled i don't know why but it, it, that's what happened so in that point you can use any external optical usb mouse just to get the windows setup completed and once it completed then we can update the drivers and that should fix that issue Okay, so setup is starting now. We're going to accept terms and condition. If you don't accept it, then I'm going to let you go at the front. And now click the bottom one, custom installation. And now from here, we're going to delete all the partition. Stop. If you have any important data, be careful before you delete any partition. Because if you delete, you're going to lose straight away. So make sure you back it up before you delete any partition. So I'm going to just keep one and I'm going to hit next. Now the main process would begin and that would take five to seven minutes to get the Windows installation completed. As you can see, there is many options it shows and the progress bar also is showing the percentage, everything. Then it's going to install the features, install the updates, and then it's going to install all the finalize options like example which option you want to enable or disable to choose the account name set up the password region keyboard layout and everything okay so i'm going to now fast forward this video just to make it shorter and we'll see at the end if the usb boot is successful or not
All right, so it seems everything is fine here. At this point, it takes a couple of minutes, but that's absolutely fine. And this is the finalization for this setup. And we're going to see the Windows main page, the home screen straight away. There you go. All right, so we are in the home screen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.